everybody, I'm here at Gunside with Ken Campbell. He invited me to come out. Whoa, 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 oh, what'd you just yeah. do to me? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. I can't let you get out of here without a Gunsight Challenge coin. You, you, you got me. I didn't even, you didn't even see it coming. Um, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Um, but uh, I'm here, like, uh, I've been out here before, media yes, events sir. and Scout Rifle Conference. This is my first class, and th so thank you for the invite out here. And uh, so I just want to say thanks to you, you know, and oh, to everybody. Proud to have you here. What a gracious uh, host and what a great place. And, you know, this is an iconic, you know, place and with a lot of history. That I tell people all the time, I probably couldn't have my company if this company hadn't started. Like, it, it, what would it look like if without Jeff Cooper? He, he was uh, such a wise man. He was a, a renaissance man. Yep. Uh, and he, he was one of the first people that had a firearms background, a military background, and an education background. He was a professor, a what? college professor. So he could take all those things and meld them together and come up with lesson plans. And and that's where the modern technique started from. And, and whether it's I'm, I'm at uh, your school and learning or, or Gunsight or somebody else's, we're all sharing the same information. It's just a little spin off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got something a little bit different, but it, uh, so much of it goes right back to Jeff Cooper and the modern technique. Well, one thing is um, like the guys teach off a written curriculum, and I do too. And uh, people say, well, don't you know your curriculum well enough? And, and I say, have you ever gone to the grocery store with a list <laughs> and not gotten stuff that was yeah. on the list? So if you're teaching without one of those, what are we missing? You know, right. so I was glad to see that. When I go for a class, I'm glad Good. to see the guys. Yeah. Well, they've got they've got one shirt pocket for them. Yep. They've got the full size one. Yeah. And that so we don't we don't want to miss anything. But it's a consistent quality product. Good. And I'm telling you. Uh, Andy Stanford took this class 20 years ago, and we were talking. He said, "Oh, it's Thursday. You're doing. Uh, he, I think we did the low light on Wednesday, but anyway, <laughs> blah blah blah. But uh, but it's a consistent product. Now, for those people that might think, hey, I'm going to get 1976 curriculum, and you know, like it's uh, stuck in the old way. I brought a 1911 here because." Why not bring a 1911 gunside? Gun and the instructors went, oh, a 1911. We don't get a lot of those anymore. Oh, well, we hear this on the internet of you're the Southwest Dinosaur League. We, we uh, take rebar and, and drive it through your feet to make you stand a certain way. We only teach 1911s. That's all crap. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> plain, absolutely. Plain and simple. You know, in 2011, we taught uh, a special 250 class for Colt for the 100th anniversary of the 1911. That same year, we taught the 25th anniversary of the Glock pistol for Glock here. So yes, <laughs> right. there are pictures out there of me carrying a Glock pistol. <laughs> uh, but, but again, it's we, we teach a modern fighting stance. Yeah. D do we like a weaver stance? We do, but we also teach you to shoot strong foot forward. It depends on what works for and you. Th and that's my point. So don't think that if, you, if you're considering a class here, that in some way that you're gonna, they're gonna say, you got to shoot a weaver or you, you know, they, they didn't, they said, this is weaver, this is isosceles, hey, you guys kind of do what you do. Yeah. If we see a way to improve what you're doing, we're gonna tell you about that. And I was kind of disappointed by that. I was wanting somebody to go, you're gonna shoot weaver and you're gonna shoot a 1911. <laughs> and you know, you know, I'm just saying, I'm kidding. Well, if I'd have known that, I'd have cut a switch off the tree <laughs> and we'd have done, done They figured that, that, that switch thing out without you. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, I just, I, I just wanted to th thank you and uh, tell everybody what a wonderful time I've had out here. The instructors are great. The facility is great. You feel welcome here. If it's hot, he'll bring you a popsicle. You know, if it's cold, He's not maybe kidding, we do. Maybe <laughs> maybe hot chocolate. If it's cold, I haven't been here when it's cold. But but um, I, I just want to say thanks, and well, this has been fantastic. It's we talk about it's the gunsight family, and that's what you are. You're part of the gunsight family, and we take care of each other. Uh, I put it in my newsletter this month. Um, I, I titled it. It's the Ben Franklin quote: "If we don't hang together, we will certainly hang separately." Yeah, and that's what it is. And we are proud to have you here, James. Absolutely. So, any of my guys uh, that have trained with me in the past uh, want to know what I think? Two fifty should be on your list. It's kind of if you're going to get a if you're going to get a pedigree in this life that we live, this is one of the stops that you need to make. Two fifty two fifty needs to be on that. And I said, and I'm, I'm kind of partial to the rifle classes out here. If you if you want to do a hunting trip to Africa or something like that, oh. this is the only place that really does that stuff, and they do a fantastic job. Does Illing still come out here? Oh, Illing comes out here and teaches. We've got uh, game targets um, out to four and six hundred. Yep. So we we will teach you you're going to spend twenty thousand dollars on that once in a lifetime africa hunt or up into up into alaska and are you really sure 
you and your gun are capable, don't, wouldn't you hate to stop and look at your professional hunter and say, can you make this shot? Yeah, me? right. <laughs> that and, happens. <laughs> and, and, and we're here so so you can. So it's we're, we're all about fighting just yeah, like you yeah, are, yeah. but also in in these game classes, man, those things rock and, and you'll get that trophy, you'll get that freezer full of meat. Yeah. So if you carry a pistol, 250 is on your list, but they do other stuff that maybe you haven't looked through their catalog uh, and, and saw stuff that might that might appeal to you. There's some really neat stuff well, going on here. Tactical meds this weekend. Right. Uh, we used to do a week-long tactical med, and it was more, more in a wartime model. Mm -hmm. At that point, uh, their final FTX, they had their firefight, they treated their patients, and uh, Gunsight's owner, Buzz, was still flying his helicopter then. He'd land his <laughs> helicopter, and we'd simulate hot-loading the patient. Nice. That, that's real. Yeah. Now we've evolved that down to a two-day format, and it's based on active shooter. Yep. You have your fight. You shelter in place. You're waiting on the cavalry to come. What What can I do to keep him alive for an hour or two? And right. our class is based on that, and it's still, but it's still all about fighting. Yep. Yep. So 250 should be on your list, but look at the rest of the menu. There's some really cool stuff going on here. Uh, it's uh, as as I film this, it's the beginning of September. It's hot, but I'm from Tennessee. It ain't humid, so you can come out here whenever you want to. And, and I'm, if, if you're from the South, pick pick August. I'm telling you, you'll be fine out here. There's no humidity. It's great. You're, now they think it's humid when it hits 25. <laughs> percent Thanks again, Ken. All right, thank you, James. Guys, that's it.